Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Reggie Laurent. Reggie Laurent is a contemporary painter. That means he's still alive and working today. Originally, he was from Chicago, but Laurent also spent time in New Orleans. Now he lives in Fairburn, Georgia, and he's pretty active in the Atlanta art scene. Today, he's one of the most well-known abstract artists. And what is abstract art? It is artwork that has a simplified or stylized subject. Let's take a look at some of his paintings. Are there any recognizable things in them? People, animals, not really. This means it's stylized. Lots of colors and shapes and lines. And this is what abstract art is all about. Lawrence said, it took a few years for me to find abstract art because starting out, all I did was landscapes. So initially, nature inspired me to paint. But I was always a compulsive doodler. In abstract, there is no right or wrong. You get to express yourself, do what makes you happy, and most of all, have fun. So some supplies that you're going to need. Your background paper is going to be black construction paper. You also need a few different other colors of construction paper or even scrapbook paper. You'll also need scissors and glue, some crayons, and something white that will show up on black construction paper. This could be white paint, white crayon, even sidewalk chalk. I have some puff paint and also a white marker. It's really whatever you guys have. You just need one white art material. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna stack up our construction paper. Our black is for the background and we're cutting these out so we don't want that in our pile. But I want you to cut out different types of shapes for this project. Think about geometric shapes like rectangles and triangles, but I also want you to mix up with some organic shapes, which are kind of squiggly, wiggly shapes that you might not have a name for. Once you've got all your shapes cut out, you're gonna take a moment before you glue just to kind of set them out Find a good balance between wavy shapes and straight edged shapes, um, bigger shapes and smaller shapes. So before you start gluing, just lay everything out. Consider having some of your shapes go right off the edge of the page. You can always trim them off later. Once your page is all set and you like the order that the shapes are in, go ahead and glue those things down. Now I'm gonna take scraps and I'm gonna cut out even smaller shapes. And I wanna make patterns or just add a little bit here and there to some of the bigger shapes that I have on my paper. This is gonna help it look lively and exciting like Mardi Gras. Okay, so next up, you're gonna pick out, ooh, about three colors of your crayons, something that stands out against your colors. Um, you're gonna be adding line patterns, and shape patterns inside those shapes that you made. You don't have to add something to every one of the shapes you cut out, but maybe the ones that you didn't add extra pieces onto, just to liven them up. I want all your shapes to look like they're dancing right off the page. Okay, so once you're done with those lines and patterns, now you're gonna pick out that one white art supply, whether it's crayon or chalk or white paint marker, whatever you've got. This is where you're gonna add all of those cool outlines and squigglies between your shapes, just like Reggie Laurent does. 
He says he uses the white in his paintings, just like he's sewing those shapes together. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this white paint marker. I'm gonna make swirly, kind of scribbly lines in between all of my shapes. Once you finish up with all of those squiggly lines, then you move on to your final step. I switched to a little piece of sidewalk chalk that I had, um, but you can use whatever you were using before or switch to something different. You're going to outline each shape with a nice bold white line. And when you're done with this step, you will be done with the project. And there you go, one Reggie Laurent inspired mixed media collage project. As always, email me pictures of your finished picture and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye guys.